Good morning. It is 7:10. Wednesday. Top is from Macy's, and then this skirt. I've had it for so long, I don't remember where it's from. And these leggings are from The Gap. No, Forever 21. And they're cropped, so I had to wear these. I wanted to wear my Uggs, but they're too short. <laughs> it is extra cold outside today in the 20s. So tired. The same thing that happened was that last week it happened again. I woke up extra early and was awake for like two hours before I ended up feeling back. But today, some of my students are going on a field trip, like four of them. And then there's another trip that's happening too that one is going on. So five of my students may be out. I don't know how long the trips last though. So they might be back by fifth period. <laughs> But just in case, I'm going to have an alternate assignment for the other students not going. <sighs> but about to head out and I will talk with you guys later. Alright, so it is 11.01. I still got about 40 minutes on my planning period. I just went to print and make some copies. But two students from my third, second period were absent, which was nice. One student I didn't think would ever be absent. <laughs> so it was nice and quiet and calm. After third period is ILT, which is individual learning time, I think. Either individual or increased. <laughs> I think it used to be ELT, extended learning time, but they changed it. So I'm just getting stuff for ILT ready. Um, and we just do different stuff. So I kind of use it for progress monitoring as well. So this one's restating the question, and they just did half of it, so they're going to do the other half today. And then some of them will be doing different stuff for math. Like this student, this is one of his goals that he's working on for math, so that's what he'll be doing. And then actually do need to do some progress monitoring with one student whose IEPs tomorrow just to get more data, like recent data. So. I had to go make some copies from my reading inventory. I had to buy that book for one of my classes, uh, one of my reading classes. This is the score sheet, and then the students will read a list of words, and we always just start at the top, and then we mark if they miss it, and then put a plus if they get it right, and then you can also write in what word they say instead, and you could keep going until they miss three or more, and then that would be their frustration level, their independent, let me see, because I forget. Yeah. And then you can see the different shapes tell you what level is on. And these are just sight words, and it, it includes the adult sight words, but also other words as well. Okay, so the independent is the highest list when they miss zero or one, and then instructional if they miss two, and then frustration, three or more. So the student will be doing that as well as the reading passages. And this is for both oral and silent reading. And it also has to do with comprehension as well. And then they also, the student will also be doing a listening comprehension. Well, and that will be me reading the passage to the student, asking comprehension questions that way. Because yeah, a lot of times students can understand more when it's read to them. Like their comprehension level is higher for oral things as opposed to them reading it out loud or silently. So I'm going to be doing that. She's going to be doing some math. I also have her, the student for science and science fourth period. And that's extra long because of lunch because they always want to leave early for lunch, after lunch. I'll be able to do all of that during the ILT in fourth period and work on her that IEP and now I'm just about to snack on some M&Ms. So some of the students went on the field trip. One who was supposed to go didn't go for some reason. I don't know why. So that's kind of annoying. I don't know what time they're getting back. But yeah. So it looks like I would have five students as opposed to eight. But the troublemaker is here. So I don't know. I guess maybe he was thinking they would have free time. They do go to the computer lab for two of their classes, so that might be why he decided to stay. Because I do have students who do that. <laughs> they don't want to go on a trip if they go in the computer lab that day. Um, yeah, I didn't see my gift for today, so I'm thinking maybe my person 
is one of the people who chaperone one of the trips. Because, like I said before, there's two trips going on today, so. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's right or not. Actually, I can go ahead and start lesson planning, though. So I'm gonna do that, and I will check in with you guys later. All right, so it is 7.19. Just got home a couple of minutes ago, and I've already warmed up my dinner. It is the third meal from Blue Apron, which was that noodle meal. <laughs> I forget the name of it, but it has mushrooms, bok choy, and an egg. It's supposed to be a soft boil, but I did like a medium boil. And I forgot, I'm supposed to put some sesame seeds on it as well. Grab those. I'm so glad, but I have a meal that's already cooked because I couldn't imagine coming home this late and having to cook something. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, so dance practice went a little over because they have to learn three different things to do on Friday. <laughs> Not Friday, Saturday. So we actually didn't practice the dance for Friday, which... But I mean, for the most part, they know it. They just need to clean it up a little. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So they just basically started learning the other three dances. That's what we spent most of the time doing. Um, she was supposed to have somebody come in and help, but that person didn't show up again. So she's like, we're just gonna have to come up with something on our own, I guess. But overall, today was an okay day. Um, the students from the field trip arrived like right towards the end, a fifth period. So it wasn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I do have that IEP for the most part. I'm finished with it. I just need to, I think, add something to one section. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the morning because we have our SPED department meeting, or a special education meeting. And we do have a new special ed teacher she's going to be co-teaching i don't know what happened to this guy who was there before he was there for maybe a month don't know what happened to him i did see the counselor yeah but i think that is going to be it for today i just want to eat then edit this video and go to sleep because i have to get up early to meet with my trainer not sure about saturday um because saturday school i'm thinking the performance will probably be in the evening I don't know because <laughs> she was saying she would hope that they'd be able to practice at the church and she said that would be in the morning if they were able to so i'm guessing it's either afternoon or evening time so more than likely i should be able to attend and once that iep is over tomorrow done until the new year <laughs> they can have two well actually i might need to do three in january two in february some of them though will be students that i actually see so that helps a lot because I'm already have it. I'm already collecting data from the stuff we do in ILT. It just makes things easier when you can see the student. But I think tomorrow we're going to be talking about ISS, in-school suspension and out-of-school suspension. And a case study because once a student gets a certain number of days, you have to do a case study on them to determine if they need an FBA, which is a functional behavior assessment and or a BIP or behavior intervention plan. So. And none of us know really how to do that because I'm quite sure we had lots of students last year who went over the limit, but we never received that information. We just started getting it this year. So I wonder if that new teacher is going to have a caseload. She should. That's something to, I guess, bring up tomorrow in our meeting because we had a teacher last year who started mid-year, like around the same time, actually. And she ended up having a caseload. I need to go ahead and put my gift for tomorrow in my bag because I know if I don't, I will forget. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, I might see if I get a teacher on a different hallway to give the gift just to kind of throw her off maybe. Thank you guys for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next video.